Hello, Abiding Presence family. I'm going to play 35 minutes of organ masterworks for you today. I've picked five pieces that are full of richness, depth, and substance. The first piece I'll play is the Bach Organ Concerto in A minor. It is actually a transcription of a piece by Antonio Vivaldi, the Concerto in A minor for two violins and orchestra. It's in three movements, fast, slow, fast.
The second piece I'm playing today is Chaconne in E minor by Dietrich Buxtehude. There is a famous story about Bach visiting Buxtehude in the year 1705. Bach asked his employer if he could have three weeks off for continuing education 
to go hear the great Buxtehude play in Lübeck. Bach stayed three months instead of three weeks, and he got thrown in jail for staying away so long. This Buxtehude Chacon is based on a four-bar harmony and bass line that repeats throughout the entire piece, giving it a haunting and hypnotic effect. Each of the three sections blossoms into a fantasy-type style, and it gives the organist a chance to exploit the many colors available on the organ.
We now jump to the French Romantic repertoire with a piece by César Franck, Pièce a Week. Franck played the Cavalier Col organ at Saint Clotilde in Paris. He had huge hands and he was trained first as a pianist. You'll notice that this composition is more harmonically sophisticated and sprawling than the Baroque pieces I just played, about nine minutes in length. This can be considered a programmatic piece. You hear an ominous theme at the beginning, which breaks into a heroic kind of feel. The middle section features a sweet theme that transforms and does battle with the first theme and finally emerges triumphant. I like to think of this piece as a struggle of good against evil.
The next piece is a contrast to everything else on the program. It's called Meditation from Sweet Medieval by Jean Langlais. Langlais was a blind French organist who followed in the footsteps of Franck and also played at Saint Clotilde. His harmonic language is even more advanced than Franck's, with rich, complex harmonies and overlapping modes. This piece was intended to be played at communion time. You can hear the mystical atmospheric first theme. It's followed by two Gregorian chants. They are then combined in a clever way, showing skillful compositional technique by Long Lei.
Our final selection is Litanies by Jean Alain. He was also a French organist who tragically died at age 40 in the Second World War. This piece was written in response to his sister's tragic death in 1937 in a mountain climbing accident. His inscription portrays the agony he felt at the loss. When the Christian soul is in distress and cannot find any fresh words to implore God's mercy, it repeats the same prayer unceasingly and with overwhelming faith. 